Hi and welcome to my channel. So today we have a problem which is find the maximum and minimum salary in each company from the given data set. So let me explain you this problem first. We have an employee data set and in this we have employee ID, company, salary and department. And we want to generate another data set called salary states and in this we need company, minimum salary and maximum salary. That means we want minimum and maximum salary for each company. For example, let's look into this company X data. In company X data, we have sales, IT and sales, these two departments. And in this, if we look into the minimum salary, then it is in the sales department, which is 870. And in the same company X, the maximum salary is in IT department which is 1020. So that is why we have for this company X minimum salary is 870 and maximum salary is 1020. If we look into this another company which is company Y, the minimum salary is 1100 and the maximum salary is 1500. So that is why for company Y we have minimum salary as 1100 and maximum is 1500. Similarly, for this company Z, we have minimum salary is 1050 and maximum salary is 1700. That is why we have for this Z company minimum salary is 1050 and maximum salary is 1700. So this is our problem solution of that problem. So we have a table called employee and in this employee table, we have employee ID, company, salary and department. We are inserting some values into this employee table using insert query. So let's run this and generate our employee table. Now, so now we have our employee table. Let's try to print this table using select star from employee. So you can see now we have values in this employee table and now we want to create the final output. So we can do this by select company because we need company names and we need minimum salary and also we need maximum salary and we can name this as max salary and also we can name this minimum salary as min salary and we are pulling this information from our employee table and also because we need we need maximum salary and minimum salary for each company so that is why you are, we are also using group by company so now let's run this problem and see the result so you can see now we have maximum and minimum salary in each company. So that is how we can solve this problem and going forward I will be posting few more problems related to SQL. So please like this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.